Welcome, gents. If you're a Sigma male, chances are you've never seen money the way most people do. You don't chase it for the labels or the flash. You're not one to stack cash just to show it off or build an empire for the sake of ego. To you, money isn't the end game. It's a resource, a tool that you wield with purpose. For Sigmas, money is a path to freedom, not an obsession or a trophy. It's a way to carve out your own lane, to build a life that aligns with who you are, on your terms. No strings attached. Money doesn't control you. You control it. You understand that wealth has power, but it's power to choose, not power to define you. While others spend their lives trying to prove themselves through wealth, you use money to escape limits and make room for what truly matters, time, growth, and independence. This mindset is part of what makes you a Sigma, someone who's walked away from society's chase for more to pursue something deeper. You know that value lies within, not in what's in the bank. By seeing money as a tool and not a treasure, you're already ahead of the game, living with intention, clarity and purpose. And that, more than any amount of wealth, is what truly sets you free. So gentlemen, stick around with me until we get to the very end. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Number 11. Money buys freedom, not identity. For a Sigma, money isn't about keeping up with the Joneses or flexing on social media. Let's be real. While everyone else is busy measuring success by what's in their bank account, the Sigma's measuring it by how free they feel. Money isn't their identity. It's just the means to cut the strings and live without limits. See, a Sigma looks at money like a Swiss army knife. It's a tool, not a trophy. It's what they use to remove the everyday constraints that most people feel locked into. Need a little more control over your time? Money can do that. Want to avoid the grind of unnecessary obligations? Money has you covered. But what money can't do, and here's where a Sigma knows better, is tell you who you are or give your life meaning. That's something deeper, something that cash will never buy. In a world obsessed with financial status, Sigmas understand that freedom is priceless. To them, money is valuable not for the sake of luxury, but for the autonomy it brings. It's not about living lavishly. It's about living freely. With money as their tool, not their treasure, they're liberated from society's approval or expectations. They're here to live on their own terms, unapologetically focused on what matters. And the best part? They're not waiting for anyone's permission or admiration to do it. Number 10. Wealth is a shield, not a sword. For Sigmas, wealth isn't a weapon to flaunt or wield over others. It's more like a trusty shield, something they keep in their back pocket to protect their independence. While others might use money to show off or climb the social ladder, Sigmas are more concerned with keeping everyone else's hands out of their lives. Money to them is a buffer, a way to say, I've got this handled, thanks, and carry on without outside interference. Think of it like this. While others are charging into battles with their wallets out, trying to prove themselves, Sigmas are the ones sitting back, thinking, why waste the energy? Their wealth isn't about pushing people around. It's about keeping control of their own space and time. They're not interested in using money as a sword to cut others down or show who's boss. Instead, they see it as a quiet defense, an invisible boundary that lets them keep doing their own thing without intrusion. This mindset keeps things simple and drama-free. Money is just their way of building a life that's theirs alone. It's a tool that buys freedom, not control over others. So while the world fights for influence and power, Sigmas are quietly using their wealth to keep their world on their terms, unapologetically in control and totally free from the noise. Number nine, minimalistic to maximize flexibility. For a Sigma, Money is about keeping life simple, not stacking up possessions or luxuries. While others may feel a thrill at filling their homes and garages with every new gadget or designer brand, the Sigma sees all that stuff as just one big, unnecessary weight. They're not impressed by clutter, no matter how expensive, it only ties them down. To them, the less they own, the more they're able to do and be. Sigmas view wealth as a tool to support their minimalistic lifestyle, which isn't about deprivation. It's about making room for what actually matters. They don't see the point in drowning under things they barely use. 
Instead, they use money to create a life that's lean and flexible, ready to adapt to new opportunities or changes without a second thought. They'd rather have the ability to pick up and go wherever life calls than stay put in a fancy mansion they can't leave. In this way, their minimalism isn't just about keeping a tidy space, it's about keeping a clear mind and a nimble life. Money to them isn't about accumulation but about freedom. By staying unattached to things, they're free to pivot, reinvent, and pursue what truly sparks their interest. And frankly, they're happier that way. In a world where people are constantly weighed down by stuff, Sigmas are the ones who pack light, move freely, and thrive without the burden of excess. Number 8. Sacrifice of immediate comfort for long-term vision. For Sigmas, money isn't an excuse to splurge on every shiny thing that catches their eye. They're not the type to get sidetracked by every new gadget or treat-yourself moment. Instead, they see money as fuel for their long-term vision, a way to power their goals, not to buy short-lived pleasures. They'd rather forego a flashy lifestyle today if it means laying the foundation for something lasting tomorrow. Sigmas understand that comfort can be a trap. They know that the more you pamper yourself now, the easier it is to lose sight of where you're actually trying to go. So while others might rush to buy luxury now, Sigmas will hold off. They'll skip the luxury upgrades and the impulse buys if it means they're still on track for the life they've imagined. They aren't stubborn. They're strategic, willing to give up today's comforts for tomorrow's independence. This long-term thinking lets them stay laser-focused, not lured off course by temporary rewards. Money for them is a resource to manage wisely, not a ticket to momentary thrills. They'd much rather invest in their goals, creating a life that's truly satisfying in the long run. By putting their vision above comfort, they're building a future that fits them perfectly, instead of one that fades as soon as the credit card bill arrives. Sigmas are in it for the journey, not the pit stops, and that's what keeps them moving forward with purpose. Thank you for being a valued subscriber, gents. Your ongoing support is greatly appreciated and motivates us to continue creating meaningful content. We truly value your engagement. Number 7. No need for validation through wealth. For Sigmas, money isn't a badge of honor or a reason to show off. They're not in the game to prove anything to anyone, least of all through their bank balance. While some might use wealth as a way to shout, Look how successful I am! The Sigma just doesn't care for that. They're not about to waste time or energy flexing on anyone. They're too busy living life on their own terms. Sigmas know that true value isn't something you can measure with dollar signs. To them, success is a feeling, a sense of purpose, not a number in a bank account. Money is simply the tool they use to support their goals, create experiences, and stay independent. It's not their identity, nor is it their status symbol. They'd rather be seen as interesting, resourceful, or authentic than just rich. This mindset frees them from the need to compete. They don't feel the need to compare or keep up with anyone else's version of success. Instead, they quietly invest in what matters to them and let the rest be background noise. So, while others might chase validation through flashy buys or a bigger paycheck, Sigmas remain focused, using money as a resource, not a ruler to measure self-worth. They're here to live fully and freely, and if that doesn't impress anyone, well, they're perfectly fine with that too. Number six, investment in growth, not objects. For Sigmas, Money isn't there to collect dust on some shelf or fill up a walk-in closet with things they'll forget about in a week. No, they're way more interested in what money can do to expand their minds, skills, and perspectives. To a Sigma, every dollar is an opportunity to learn or experience something new that could make them better, sharper, or more resilient in a fast-paced world. They're not out here to buy the fanciest gadgets. They're here to make sure they're always leveling up. Sigmas would much rather invest in a course, a book, or even a plane ticket to some place they've never been, because they know these things will stick with them far longer than any possession could. It's not about having stuff. It's about building something within themselves that nobody can take away. They're all about creating experiences and knowledge that pay off in ways that can't be measured in dollars. This approach keeps Sigmas adaptable and on their toes. 
While the world keeps changing, they're investing in the only asset that truly matters to them, themselves. So if you ever see a Sigma dropping money, it's probably on something that'll make them a stronger, wiser, or more capable version of themselves. For them, growth is the ultimate return on investment. And as they see it, life's too short to spend money on things that don't make them better or leave them stuck in one place. Number 5. Freedom to say no. The ultimate power. For Sigmas, financial independence is the ultimate superpower because it gives them the freedom to say no without hesitation. While most people feel trapped by their jobs, relationships, or obligations because they need the money, Sigmas aren't bound by the same chains. They don't need to put up with things or people that drain them because their financial stability means they can walk away at any time. This ability to choose their path is priceless, and that's why they see money as a tool, not a treasure. It's not about the dollar signs for them, it's about the freedom those dollars provide. Money in the Sigma world is simply a resource that allows them to live life on their terms. Want to quit a soul-sucking job? Check. Need to distance yourself from toxic people? No problem. Financial independence means the Sigma can turn down anything that doesn't serve their higher purpose, whether it's an offer, a relationship, or a situation that doesn't match their values. This is the real power of money for Sigmas. It's not about flexing or showing off. It's about maintaining the freedom to live authentically, without the pressure to conform or settle. Financial independence is the key to living life as a true creator. And for Sigmas, that freedom to say no is the most valuable thing money can buy. Number 4. To avoid debit. To avoid debt, Sigmas take a practical, no-nonsense approach to money. They're not interested in living beyond their means or buying things just to keep up with the crowd. For them, financial freedom means having control over their spending, not getting stuck in a cycle of debt that can weigh them down. Sigmas understand that debt can be a trap. They know that borrowing money for things that don't add real value to their lives, like luxury items or experiences they can't afford, only leads to stress and limits their freedom. Instead, they focus on smart spending and investing in things that will pay off in the long run. They're not about instant gratification. They value patience and discipline when it comes to managing their finances. By avoiding debt, Sigmas maintain their independence and stay true to their purpose. They don't let financial obligations control their lives or hinder their ability to make choices freely. Whether it's saving up for something they really want or finding creative ways to build wealth, they avoid the traps that many fall into by living within their means and making strategic financial decisions. Ultimately for Sigmas, avoiding debt isn't just about staying out of the red. It's about maintaining the freedom to live life on their own terms without the burden of financial stress. Number 3. Zero Appetite for Financially Driven Relationships For Sigma's money is like the background noise at a concert. It's there, but it's not what matters. They have zero appetite for relationships where money takes center stage. Whether it's someone constantly eyeing their bank balance or trying to exchange favors for cash, Sigmas are quick to spot and shut down these financial-driven connections. They understand that real relationships are built on trust, respect, and genuine connection. Not how much money is in the bank or what you can offer financially. It's not that they're against people who have money or enjoy a good paycheck. They just refuse to let wealth dictate the dynamics of their personal relationships. A Sigma will never be swayed by someone who's only interested in what they can get from them, whether that's a free meal, an expensive gift, or just the idea of being associated with someone well off. To them, it's about the person, not the paycheck. Sigmas want bonds that are unburdened by the weight of financial expectations. They're not looking for people who see them as a stepping stone to something bigger, but for people who enjoy their company for who they are. That's the real currency in Sigma relationships. They'd rather spend their time with people who aren't keeping score, those who genuinely enjoy each other's company and share common interests. Money is irrelevant when you're looking for something real, and Sigmas are all about the real deal. Number 2. Resource Allocation for Sigmas, money isn't just something you stack up in a bank account or flash around on Instagram. It's a strategic resource. 
Think of it like a tool in a well-stocked toolbox, but instead of fixing leaky pipes, Sigmas use it to fund what truly matters, personal growth, experiences that enrich their lives, or projects that align with their values. They know that time and energy are finite, so why waste them on things that don't add real value? For them, money isn't for buying unnecessary stuff or chasing the latest trends. It's about making smart investments in things that will help them grow and stay sharp, whether that's attending a life-changing seminar, traveling to places that challenge their perspective, or building a business venture that resonates with their personal mission. Sigmas treat their resources like they're precious, because frankly, they are. Every dollar is carefully allocated to projects that align with their goals and vision. This kind of approach is what separates them from the average person who spends without thought or lives paycheck to paycheck, just keeping up with the latest gadgets or status symbols. Sigmas are focused on the long game. They're not chasing empty rewards. They're putting their money into things that matter, things that will help them evolve, things that help them build a life they're proud of. For Sigmas, money is a tool that's used to invest in what counts, not what the world tells them should count. And that's how they truly grow. Number one, money is a way to escape constraints, not buy happiness. Sigmas aren't out here thinking that a bigger bank balance will suddenly solve all their problems or make them happy. They know better. To them, happiness isn't something you can swipe your credit card for. No amount of cash is going to fill that internal void or create lasting contentment. That's not how it works. For Sigmas, money isn't the key to happiness. It's just a tool to get rid of the stuff that gets in the way of it. Money in their world is a means to an end. It's about removing external constraints that could hold them back from living life on their own terms. Want to travel without being shackled to a 9 to 5? Money makes it happen. Want to take time off to focus on personal growth or an important project? Money gives them the freedom to do that. But once those external limitations are gone, Sigmas know that the real work is on the inside. Contentment, fulfillment, peace. It's all about what's going on in your mind and soul, not the things you can buy. For them, money is useful in creating a life that's free from unnecessary pressures. But the happiness that comes with it is earned through self-awareness, growth and living authentically. It's the ability to escape the noise and clutter of society's expectations and focus on what really matters. In short, Sigmas are too smart to think that happiness has a price tag, and they're not about to let money trick them into believing otherwise. As we wrap up, in the end, Sigmas know that money is just a tool, nothing more, nothing less. It's not the treasure or the goal, it's the means to create the life they want to live. They aren't chasing wealth for the sake of status, luxury, or validation. For them, money is about freedom, the freedom to think independently, make their own choices, and live on their own terms. They know that real wealth isn't measured by the number in your bank account, but by the quality of your life and the impact you're making. Being a Sigma means you have the clarity to see beyond the distractions of materialism. You understand that money doesn't define you, but it can give you the space to create, grow, and move toward your true purpose. It allows you to invest in yourself, in your skills, and in relationships that matter. And that's the real treasure. So remember, you're not just here to accumulate wealth. You're here to use it wisely, to leverage it, to build the life and the legacy you want. You're not chasing money. You're making it work for you so you can focus on what truly matters. And that's the power of seeing money as a tool, not a treasure. Keep doing your thing, stay focused, and remember, true wealth lies in the freedom to live authentically and purposefully. Keep creating your own path. Thank you, gents, for tuning in, and God bless.